Hi everyone, my name's Kate Kendall. I'm the co-founder of Flow Athletic, and I'm here with the founder of The Upside, Jody Mears. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> We're gonna take you through a simple morning flow to energize you and get you ready for your day. So let's start, top of mat, feet hip distance apart, and take your hands by your side, and just find a steady gaze somewhere out in front. Let the eyes soften. And at some point, if it feels comfortable to, let the eyes close entirely and notice your breath. And notice the breath moving in through the tips of the nostrils. And out through the tips of the nostrils. And then consciously start to deepen the breath so you move it from the nostrils to the back of throat down into the base of the lungs. And from the base of the lungs, back of throat, out through nose. Next inhalation, crack the eyes open, inhale, arms out and up. Then exhale, fold forwards, a little softening in the knees. Inhale, lift the chest, get nice and long through the spine. And exhale, step both feet back into a high plank position. So your shoulders are directly over the wrists and the thighs are engaged. This first one, let's lower the knees as we inhale and gaze forwards. And as we exhale, come slowly down. So keep the elbows in nice and close to the ribs. And a little baby cobra, ease the chest forwards and up. Lift your hands, point the toes. As we exhale, place the hands and press back into a child's pose to take a generous breath in. And a long breath out. And inhale, come onto all fours. And exhale, move into downward facing dog. So the hands are around shoulder distance. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Feet are around hip distance apart. And then being that first downward facing dog for the morning, you might like to pedal the feet or sway the hips a little side to side just to defrost that downward dog. have another breath in, lift up high onto the tippy toes. And as we exhale, we just step forward. So one foot, then the other to the top of the mat. Flat back as you inhale, lift the chest. And fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, arms out and up, stand tall. Palms connect. And exhale, hands right down through center. Again, inhale, arms out and up. And exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Okay, so this time we're going to inhale, tip forward so the shoulders are just forwards of the wrists. And come all the way down or halfway down to Chaturanga. You can take that baby cobra again or an upward facing dog. So thighs are lifted. And then using the strength of your core, move back into a downward facing dog, a few breaths. Again, consciously drawing that breath right down into the base of the lungs. And completing your exhalations as you draw your navel into the spine. Inhale, lift up, high onto the tippy toes. We exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top. Flat back, lift the chest, and fold <laughs> forwards, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, arms out and up. It's not always graceful, that's okay. And exhale, hands right down through the center. Inhale, arms out and up, little back bend here. Perhaps lift the chest, and exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump back to lower through Chaturanga. And Cobra or upward facing. Try to move the shoulder blades together on your back and move back into downward facing. So the palms are going to stay flat. We float the right leg up and back behind us. Exhale, squeeze the right knee to chin. So a little something for our core first thing in the morning. It's like you want to kiss the knee. <laughs> right leg up and back. 
And exhale, right foot through between the hands. We'll lower the left knee gently and take the hands forwards and up. Rasoas lunge. And ease the hips down and forwards. Let's take another breath in. And we'll twist to the right. So left hand forwards and right hand back. Yeah, nice. We can stay there or take the right hand to the left hamstring. And then the left arm right on up and back. That's it. So you get that nice fascia release through the left side. One more breath in. Exhale, look down, turn to face the left side. When we pivot on the feet to turn the toes in towards each other. Flat backs, we lift the chest, get nice and long. And then fold forwards as we exhale. And we'll press down firmly into the outer edges of the feet. Lift the sit bones up, tip forwards a little bit. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Hands to hips, core on as you stand up. And we just turn the right toes to point forwards. Arms are wide, that front heel and back arch are aligned, so full breath in. As we exhale, we just tip the hips to the right, reach, and then come back up to reverse. So you get this nice big lengthener into the right side waist. Really good for expanding our breath capacity, great for digestion. And then extend again. Trikonasana. So right hand to right shin or ankle. And the left arm up. Just want to press into the feet and kind of wrap that right sit bone under the body to get long through the spine. One more breath in. Exhale, look down, bend the right knee, step back, high plank. And again, we lower through. Inhale to that back bend of choice and exhale back. Okay, left side, left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the left knee to chin. Inhaling. And exhale, left foot through. We'll lower the right knee and take the hands forwards and up. And we send the hips down and then forwards and twist to the left. So right hand forwards and left hand back. It can feel like a really awkward twist, but just breathe in any way that you can. Take left hand back behind you and then the right arm up and back. Generous breath in. Exhale, turn to the right. So we turn the toes in towards each other. We lift the chest to lengthen the spine and then fold forwards. So you can take any variation here that you like to. You might even take hands to ankles or even a little interlacing of the hands behind the head. Feel all that blood rush to the head. Great way to start the day. One more breath. <laughs> Good detoxing. Hands to hips, lift the chest as you inhale. <laughs> And exhale, come up. So those trikonasana legs, left toes point forwards. Arms are wide as we inhale. We're going to reach to the left as we exhale and just hold for a moment and come back up to reverse. You get that lateral bend into the left side. And then extend forwards into trikonasana or triangle, left hand down, right arm up. Okay, so energizing the left thigh. Wrapping the left sit bone under the body. Kind of getting long into every direction and don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Give one more in. Exhale, look down, place hands, step back. Lower chaturanga. Inhaling. And exhaling. A few breaths here in down dog just to feel that... New energy moving through the body. And lift up high onto the tippy toes as you inhale. This time we'll just lower down onto the knees. So we're on all fours and take a few cat cows. So we inhale, drop the navel, tilt the tail. Just making sure that the wrists are directly under the shoulders. And exhale, round out. Two more like that with breath, inhaling. Exhale. 
Inhaling. Exhale. And then move back into a child's pose. We'll go knees wide. Big toes together. Reach out. You could stay there in child's pose as long as you like to. Whenever you feel ready to come up and greet the rest of the day. Thank you, darling. Namaste. Namaste. That was beautiful. <laughs>